Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Glenn, and today I want to talk to you about how to manage the settings for self-service purchasing of Power Platform tools in Office 365. Microsoft has made it available for your users in your organization to purchase licenses without having to go through IT. They can pull out their credit card, personal credit card, company credit card, doesn't matter, and enter, the, in, enter an agreement with Microsoft that they will pay for a year for this service. First rolling out is Power BI. Users can purchase Power BI Pro licenses currently at $9.99 US um, starting January 14th, 2020. January 28th, 2020, the other two plat Power Platform tools, Power Automate and Power Apps, will be available for self-service provisioning as well. So, how do you manage this? What do you, what do you need to do? I won't go into this too deeply, but you need to get together with your decision makers and those who are architecting your environment and make a decision. Are you going to allow your users to use self-service, be able to purchase licenses for themselves of the Power Platform tools or not? If you decide that you're not going to you don't want to allow your users to do that, then you need to actually disable it. So how do you do that? Well, let me show you. I have PowerShell open here. And first off, I need to actually install a new module that I don't have. So you can follow along with all this procedure starting fresh. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is install this module called MS Commerce. And this is different module than interacting with um, Office 365 before, uh, in that if you're doing things with SharePoint or whatever, this is uh, on the billing side. So I'm going to say, yes, I want that repository. And then we need to import that module that we just downloaded and installed. We need to import it into this session. So we do an import dash module dash name and then MS Commerce. And then we need to connect to the MS Commerce. Uh, and log in to Office 365. Once I log in and establish that connection, the first thing I want to do is actually take a look at what the settings current uh, the settings are currently. So I do a git dash ms commerce product policies and then dash policy ID allow self-service purchase. What this does is it shows me the three apps in the Power Platform, Power Apps, Power BI Pro, and Power Automate, and their current um, policy value, which we'll see here, is enabled, meaning that uh, as it sits now, everyone will be able to uh, purchase those licenses through the self-service uh, procedures. So, uh, what I want to show today is how do you disable self-service purchasing? Let's take Power BI Pro since it's the first out of the gate. We the command is update dash MS Commerce product policy, and then the policy ID allow self-service purchase. But then you have to pass this da, uh, dash product ID, and where do you get these product ID? Well, we come back up here to this table, and we pick the product that we want, Power BI Pro. And it's CFQ72TTC03L3PB, whatever. Um, so we just need to pass that. And when I hit enter, it's enabled is the parameter. And what value do we want? We want false. <clears throat> Actually, just false. So the, uh, what we have now, and we'll go back up and get the items, we'll notice that Power Apps and Power Automate are enabled, and Power BI Pro is disabled now. Of course, you can go through and do the other apps as you wish, but I just wanted to show you quickly how not only uh, give you the advice of you need to determine whether you should have this turned on or not, but then how do you actually turn it off if you need to? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe below so you can see all the rest of my videos. Bye-bye for now.